Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we are doing the unboxing video for the uh, Reebok CrossFit Nano 6.0. It is Friday, July 8th and the shoes just came out yesterday. I actually ordered them uh, but they're not coming in until Monday. So I ran out to the store, picked them up and uh, I just had to be the first to do the unboxing video. So here they are. All right, so just like all the other Nano shoes, uh, the Nano 6.0s are basically a redesign of the Nano 5.0s, just like the 4.0s were like the 3.0s, and um, the 2.0s were like the U-forms. Same basic platform, but they're just uh, minor changes and a little bit more refinement overall. Uh, so this isn't a complete unboxing because I did try them on at the store. Um, I did take pictures of them too. So I kind of already know what to tell you guys, but here they are. So there you go. I'm just gonna get out of here. All right. So right there, Nano 6.0s. Um, so visually. You're going to notice that there's that huge delta sign, uh, which isn't actually the CrossFit logo, it's just the Reebok Delta. Um, the Kevlar is a little bit more refined looking, it's a lot more nicer looking. The shoe overall looks a little bit more clean on this side. And then you've got this medial guard that is, uh, it's kind of like the Kevlar that you would find on the... Um, the Compete 614. It's very rough, it's very thick. This is supposed to protect against rope abrasion. Um, you've got this ballistic nylon under the overlay, the Kevlar overlay. The outsole is basically the same thing as the Nano 5.0. The drop on this shoe is now a four millimeter drop again uh, the nano 5.0 was a three millimeter drop and the, all the previous nanos before that were all four um, so they went back to four millimeter uh, you've got the new power launch toe box which I am not quite sure uh, exactly how it works but we're gonna try to find that out together let's take a look at the insole same kind of insole that you find on the Nano 5.0. It's very, very much the same. Nothing more in there. Uh, the shoe overall, which you um, get your hands on it, is a lot more premium feeling than the Nano 5.0 is. The Nano 5.0 kind of felt a little, not flimsy, but a little bit uh, like the upper was kind of thin. Whereas the Nano 6.0 feels a lot more solid in the hand. The toe cap area you can actually already feel is um, a little bit more thick and a little bit more reinforced. Let's take off the Nano 5. So there is a 5 and 6.0. So this toe box is really, really, really thin. You could depress it no problem. For the Nano 6, it takes a little bit of force to depress that toe box. Uh, it feels like the rear area actually has a little bit more like a heel counter built into it. So it'll stick onto your heel, no heel slippage issues. Obviously, once again, the outsole is the same. Alright, let's put them on. See how they fit. Uh, the shoelaces are a little bit nicer as well. They're a little bit flatter, uh, a little bit wider as well. But they do look cool. They have like a two-tone in them. Them are a little uh, heel loop so that you can slide your shoes on. The tongue is a lot more thick than the Nano 5.0 was. It's a little bit closer to what the Nano 4.0 was. So overall, this is kind of what I observed in the store when I tried them on is they basically are 
what the Nano 4.0 was the Nano 3.0. So the Nano 3.0 was a little bit wider, uh, the toe box was a little bit more open, and then when you got the Nano 4.0, um, they kind of slimmed it down a little bit, they made it a little bit more fitting, and with the Nano 5.0, people had uh, issues with it being a little bit too wide. Um, so it was more like the Nano 3.0, and the Nano 6.0, feels a lot like the Nano 4.0. So if you were a fan of that shoe, you're probably like the Nano 6.0. Um, it is a little bit more snug, uh, but I'm not gonna say that it's so much so that you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to size up half a size. Uh, I would still go with your normal size. I'm a nine and a half. I've always been a nine and a half. Um, so it fits a little bit more snug, reminiscent of the Nano 4.0, but still uh, fits well. The platform, once again, feels like the Nano 4.0. Uh, the four millimeter drop is back. Uh, the Nano 3.0 or Nano 5.0 is actually liked because of the three millimeter drop, but it's not anything where you're gonna notice a huge amount of difference. I just I liked it a little bit more flat. Um, overall, they they really do feel solid in the pictures. Originally, they kind of looked a little goofy. But once you get them, I think the red colorway actually looks really good and uh, uh, the Pacific blue, the teal colorway, that actually looks really, really good in person. Um, overall, it's a, it's a much more refined and just better looking shoe than the 5.0s were. I do like the 5.0s, don't get me wrong. Um, but we'll see how testing goes with the Nano 6.0. They do retail for $130 just like all the other uh, Nanos or Nano 5s did. And, um, yeah, that's about it. You'll see the uh, updating review on as many reviews as possible.com, and I will be back in a week or so with a full video review of the Nano 6.0s. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.